Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Com. I'm here at Alan's camera because something really, 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 really interesting came in, and it's this Canon 8 to 15 millimeter f4 fisheye, which a lot of people have been waiting for. $14.99 is the price, and I haven't looked at it yet, so we're going to unbox it. Frovator's here. He may even give you some of his feedback uh, to let you know what he thinks about it. And I have the, um, yeah. Hmm. Got distracted. And I have a, what is this thing called? A Canon 5D to put the, the lens on. So let's um, unbox it and talk about it and sniff it and see what it smells like. All right, so you have your, your case for it. You've got your user's guide, which you don't really need. And then we've got the lens wrapped up in a bag in some styrofoam probably in some more stuff. All right, so I'm going to be pretty careful. I'm going to be very careful. I don't want to... This kind of looks like Wally. That's interesting. So here we go. Heavy lens, which you wouldn't expect anything else. Um, pretty cool looking. Nice lens cap right here. Pop that off. Boom. It's got a protecting thing right here. Boom. And we have a lens hood, which we'll see when that's used and not used, which is great. It comes with it. Comes off, press of the button, goes back on with a twist, zooms from 8 to 15. It has a lock on the side, which, let me guess, you can probably lock it at 15. Yep, locked at 15. Makes sense. Uh, so this is an 8 to 15 on a full frame, and it's like 12 point something on a 1.6 crop. Uh, or I guess you could use it on the, the 1D Mark III, four, or four series, and you, it, it's 1.3 time multiplication. But this 15 millimeter on a full frame is probably pretty insane. And I do have to say that the Nikon uh, 16 millimeter fisheye is not very good at this point. I've used it for a long time, and it's just not sharp at all. And I'm assuming that this one is going to be really, really sharp. <sighs> Pro Vader, what do you think it smells like, buddy? No, that's, there you go. I don't know, we'll have to ask him after this what it smells like. But you know what, it smells like, kind of like a carnival atmosphere when you get that merry-go-round thing. It doesn't smell like the saddle of the horses that people are sitting on, because that wouldn't be good. Uh, maybe it smells like popcorn from those places. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this on the camera right now while we're talking and get my first impressions of this angle. Being that I've never seen this angle on the Nikon end, I want to see it on the Canon end, so let's put it on the 5D Mark II. Boom, locks in. I'm at 15, which looks great. Oh, snap. Now I'm at 8. This is insane. I should probably take some video with this. I'm going to take video with this camera too to see what it looks like. This is a circle. This is insanely, incredibly looking circle. So you have to take the lens hood off for this in order to get you know, so you don't get the lens hood in there. But this is, this is pretty amazing. And I gotta say that, you know, it's smooth zooming. It's gonna be smooth focusing. Uh, a circle is pretty cool looking. And the 15 looks really nice as well. Beautiful, beautiful front element. Be very careful with thumbprints. Uh, that, that could happen. Just make sure you clean it. And when you're cleaning things like this, may I recommend the Fronos Photo Gold I Shoot Raw Lens Cloth? I recommend that, but anyway. Really cool lens, f4, you know how I recommend 2.8s all the time, when you're shooting wide wide uh, shots like this, f4 doesn't matter. You're not going to blow stuff out of focus with this unless they're like this far away from the camera. So f4 is perfectly fine for this. This is a great pro lens that you know pros are going to want to have in their bag to get a great looking fisheye. And then for those editorial uh, effect type shots that they need to get, the 8mm is also going to be very interesting. So coming up next. Uh, Fro Vader is going to give his feedback on what he thinks about this lens when he looks through it, and then there will be some review shots, and I might as well take some video with it as well on the Canon so that you can feel with it, feel with it, get a feel for it. So we will be right back. Fro Vader here for FroNosePhoto.com, and whoa, this is the most cool lens I have seen in a long time. So thank you Canon for making an 8-15 to f4 fisheye. Look at this thing. It could be like 
Hello, I am talking to you. I could send out intergalactic messages to all the stormtroopers, and it would be really insane. I could be like, hello, ooh, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's make sure we're recording. To all the stormtroopers and Ewoks, beware, I will be coming for you if you do not come to the dark side and switch over. And Luke, I still am your father. Don't you ever forget it. Okay. Okay. So that's probably about it, but I'd say be really careful when you're cleaning this because it could get fingerprints and you don't want those uh, space dust on it. All right, back to you, Jared. All right, thank you, Fro Vader, for um, enlightening us with your thoughts on this lens. Uh, I have to say, from using it just now, shooting video with it, taking test shots, uh, and everything like that, it's a pretty insane lens. It looks to be really, really sharp, um, but coming up after I'm done talking here, we'll actually sit down in front of the computer, look at the images in full res through the screen flow, and then also allow you guys to download the full res files. Hopefully I shot it properly in this um, 5D Mark II. I've never used one of these things, so I'm trying to figure out all the different buttons and everything along those lines. But this, this um, lens is smooth. I mean, at eight millimeters, insane circle. At 15 millimeters, beautiful looking fisheye, much nicer than anything that Nikon has out there currently in this range. So. You know, if you're a pro, it probably should be in your bag, but coming up right now, we're gonna look at the actual sample images, and I'll show you some video so you can uh, peruse it yourself. So we will be right back. All right, we're back, and now it's time to look at the sample images and video from the eight to 15 Canon F4 USM lens. It's selling for what, $14.99? Um, when I said focus lock earlier, as you saw something popped up on the screen, I misread that. It says limit. So what that means is when you turn it to 15, you press the limit button up and you can only shoot from 10 to 15 millimeters, which I believe means you're not going to be shooting at a circle, which we're going to look at right now on the screen. So here you have a shot from behind the counter, shot at eight millimeters uh, with the 5D Mark II. You know, it's sharp. We can zoom in here and go, boom, it's sharp all the way front to back. Nice colors. I mean, not the greatest lighting in the world where we're shooting in Allen's, but still it looks good. Um, nice and sharp, even eight millimeters. Now, I am not really too sure what you're gonna shoot at eight millimeters. I know it's one of those gimmicky things uh, I'm sure it has a use somewhere, but it's, it, it's, it's very limiting. Now, I think that 15 millimeters and probably between 10 and 15, that fisheye is incredible. It's a great sharp lens, by far sharper than the Nikon 16 fisheye because that lens is just so far out of date, it's not even funny. I should probably compare it to the 15 2.8 from Canon, which is great as well. But, you know, this is a 1,490, you know, what, 1,500 bucks for this lens, if you needed just a circle lens from Sigma, you're looking at $900 for theirs. Uh, if you wanted just a 15 fisheye 2.8, you're looking at, what, how much was that one? Like 700, 800 from, from Canon. So let's just go through some of these images. Um, just a closer up circle eight millimeter shot. You can see some of the barrel, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting feature and it'll be really cool for some music videos as well. Um, all of these images that you're looking at right now, you can download the full res on, as long as you're on fronosphoto.com. The full res images exports are up so that you can download it and pixel peep all you want. But to me, the colors are sharp. Sorry, the colors are vibrant. Uh, the sharpness is right on, and it's just an interesting lens. So here we have this at 15 millimeters. I will zoom in right here on the black rapid sticker. Uh, this is the front door of Alan's camera works out very well. I mean, it's a nice fish. It's nice and clean. Actually, let's look into the corners here. And it's sharp edge to edge. And nobody better really complain about this fringing over here. That is no big deal zoomed in this far. But sharp corner to corner is just insane. That's so much better than anything I've seen, especially from my own cameras. And that's at 15. Let's look at it at eight millimeters. Same thing, it's pretty darn sharp almost all the way around. Sure, there's some chromatic abravation, as I call it, chromatic aggravation, um, but not a big deal. I am not a pixel peeper. This does its job. I did a wider shot 
at eight millimeters. Now I did a closer shot at eight millimeters and then thought it would be cool to, to do the car. Now, here's something to be, to be cognizant of. You do not want to get uber duber close with this eight, at, at eight millimeters to something and accidentally scratch the front of that lens. That is something that you have to be aware of that you don't want to get too close because it, it is, you have to be really, really close and it still looks like you're far away. So I think there's gonna be some people bumping the front element. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful with that. Um, so then, then here it is at 15. Here it is as eight. Here it is at 15, really nice. I mean, look, I'm really close to the car. You can see that the background is blowing out, but it is sharp corner to corner. I, I'm really not surprised, you know, Canon makes some great L lenses and this is just an insane, insanely sharp lens. Very happy with it. Here's a wider shot, 15, then here's the eight. 15 and eight, and then moving into inside, you have this eight millimeters. Still not sure what you would use it for, but you know, then this at 15, shoot the box, shoot for Ovator, and there's really nothing else special to look at. You can download these images, but now let's look at the video. Um, here in this first video, you can see the, went outside, shot the car at eight millimeters, walked around. You can pretty much see getting close. Really nice, I, I mean, that's incredibly sharp, and the, the clarity is amazing. I mean, that's obviously a 5D Mark II is really good for stuff like this. You know, I could see, even though you're cropped out at the top a little bit and the bottom, this could be an interesting effect for video. And obviously shooting yourself, it's pretty interesting. Hey, look at me, I can hold the camera out in front of me. Yeah, and then I figured, why not zoom it in to 15 on the, the video and just give that look as well. So this is gonna work really well on a DX, sorry, DX, on a non-full frame camera, but it's, a, it's an expensive lens to put on a non-full frame camera. But you get the point here. You can see that the video is very good uh, and you can just get a feel for it at eight millimeters and at 15. And then the next one I did, I just did walking around indoors. So you can see how you know, pretty much everything is in focus front to back. This is Rob at Alan's camera. If you ever give a call, Rob can help you out. He's really, he's really tall guys, uh, girls, he's good. And here's Alan going, well, Alan's working as always. And he wanted to know what I think about the lens, so I was telling him, and um, of course there's the uh, Alan smile, and then telling me that I can't put this online, but I'm doing it anyway, and um, yeah, whatever, it's going online. And then here's Rob, gives you a nice fisheye look of his face, and that wraps it up. So coming back over here, solid lens, I mean you can't, be, you, you're not going to find a lens like this from anybody else. I think a good comparison will be a 15, this zoom lens versus the 2.8. But again, f4 is perfect for this in the wide angle. You really don't need the 2.8. And 1500 bucks, who's this lens for? It's for a pro. Um, it's for a videographer that needs something, you know, ultra wide and round like this. But really, if I was on Canon, I would pick up this lens and shoot it because I need a new fisheye and I wish Nikon would catch up in that department, but that's about it. Hope you enjoy it. You can download the full res copies of the photos. You can also call Alan to see if he has any left in stock. Uh, and that is about it. Jared Polin, froknosephoto.com. See ya.